you have to always make sure you you are you want to learn. You have to be curious because design trends they are easy to jump in, but then when the trends go, the craft that you have learned will expose you. Right? If you don't understand the basics, using those tools in your craft, you'll be found you'll be found wanting. So like pay attention to the to the basics. It's not it's not like one week you just okay. Oh, what is pattern? Pattern is this. Okay. What is layout? Layout is this. Mm, okay. Now Monday, let me do. UI. Let me nah. Hello guys, welcome to the fourth episode of Unscripted with Regan. And on today's episode, we have Derek. I'm sure many of you know him by the name UX Derek on Twitter. The controversial guy always causing <laughs> fight here and there. And this guy has delved into so many careers. He has been a port health officer. He has been a teacher. <laughs> he has been a teacher before. He has done a little bit of software engineering or limited development. He has been a graphic designer before and currently a product designer at Yellow Card. And on today's episode, we'll be delving into his background, learning more about Derek, listening to some certain career advices, and then maybe how he learns, you know, new skills. So let's delve right into that. Experiences count, but then you need to learn from all those experiences. Don't, I don't just do the design and then not learn anything from it. Also, as a designer, you need to learn to squeeze design out of you. If everything you jump into looking for inspiration, at some point, there will be nothing to inspire you. Yeah, welcome to Unscripted with you. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm amazing. Charlie, how did it for look like for you so far? Um, stressing, Kwa. Ah, uh, how? <laughs> <laughs> Working on a couple of high-level projects, so it's... Yeah, stakeholder... The things that stakeholders are very interested in, so... Oh, okay. You have to give 200% because everybody's eyes on you. So most is work, but personally, yeah. are there any other stress aside work? Uh, Maybe why feed and things? Not really. <laughs> not really. I've not put a lot of like demands on let's say goals and stuff. I'm this first quarter I've been really pretty lenient with mm. goals. Maybe next quarter then I'll start like going more. Demanding. So this quarter I just feel like I'm freestyling. Not necessarily. I have some things I want to do. Maybe mm -hmm. get better at front end, mm -hmm. get better at maybe design leadership, design systems. So like it's goals but mm -hmm. i'm not very strict on them because okay. work has taken or work will take a lot of my first quarter you seem like a workaholic but you we will talk about that <laughs> later <laughs> all right so on unscripted right we'll just listen to who derek is where did you start from i know you are a very good product designer a lot yes. of people are learning from you even me myself <laughs> the last time we had a meeting you were teaching me some things you understand who is derek where did you start from and you mentioned that you've you know you attempt some few careers you've done teaching before yeah. You do graphic design before. Yeah. You've done uh, what? <laughs> what else? You do farming before. Farming? No, 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 no. Just in the house. In the house. Yeah, not commercial. Nah. Oh, okay. So who is Derek? Uh, I don't or, really know. Or you ex Derek? <laughs> a hustler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say a hustler. Like that fits best because mm -hmm. I like to like get better at anything. I like to do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I I always feel bored when I'm not doing anything. So I like to do stuff and I don't like to be mediocre at what I do. So that leads me down various rabbit holes. Interesting. So I've gone down a lot of rabbit holes. Mention some. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so even um, front end mm -hmm. engineer, it was a rabbit hole mm -hmm. because I saw on a Twitter some people were discussing building some backend engineers were discussing building a banking system during the weekend. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, what is this? So I went to a group, GR, I'm not sure if you know GR, mm -hmm. and I asked them for a React tutorial. I started watching that. Then I went down a long rabbit hole by the time I realized. I so just, just one weekend, just decided to start something? Yeah, that, that was very impromptu. A lot wow. of the things I've decided to learn to are uh, like, okay, I've seen somebody do it, mm -hmm. cool. Somebody has done it, mm -hmm. okay. How did you do it? It took me this number of hours or this amount of months to learn mm -hmm. it. Okay, cool. If I start now, in the next two, three months, if I put in the work, I should also be able to do the same thing, right? When, that, when did you start the fountain? I mean, I know right now uh, you say you do it for as so, a hobby. I started in September. 2023? Yes. September? Yes. And how many? <laughs> 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 yeah, just like, someone's whole career. And I mean, I, I, I recently, I think last, when did you do your portfolio? When you did it, I visited it and I saw some fun project there. That was in 
December. Yeah, and there were n- interesting things. That's that's what about Dias' career. Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun to think about. Okay, how do I build this? Mm-hmm. So, for instance, I wanted to build an invoice app, mm-hmm. right? But then I didn't have the skills to build an invoice app because mm-hmm. I was just starting. So I had to break it down. Um, mm-hmm. How to put in text and save text in image form or okay. in a document. So that led me to build the code ge- the code generator. Oh, because yeah, I, I can that. input text, um, input um, switch colors, mm-hmm. change state of colors, or add this. Then I download it. So now because I wanted to build the invoice app, I had mm-hmm. to build this one mm-hmm. to give me the skills to build the invoice app. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's how I looked at. So I get, it's fun to have an idea and then look at it from scratch from ideation and then see. I, I really enjoy that. We'll look at how you're balancing <laughs> your heavy duty work <laughs> with this fun stuff. But before that, how do you get to product design? I mean, you started with other careers. Yeah. You were doing graphic design. How long did you do it? What happened? Yeah. What decision or what influenced your decision to you know, start graphic design? Let's so graphic design, I, I think I've told this story. This probably might be the last time I'll, <laughs> I'll tell it. So um, in 2013, mm-hmm. um, I was in a crack house. I was preparing to leave school. We were mm-hmm. preparing to leave school. So I went to SU, an SU meeting. Mm-hmm. And the pastor that came to preach, mm-hmm. he came, he was a graphic designer. Oh, he, yeah. Then he came with Adobe Photoshop CS3, <laughs> the CD. No, mm-hmm. not Photoshop, the Adobe Master Suite. Okay. So they had a whole cool collection, Premiere Pro, all of oh, it on the okay. CD. So he burned it on the CD and then came with, I think, 10 to the SU. Mm-hmm. So he came to the SU after I was f- he finished preaching. He was like, oh, we, who and when, who wants oh. this? Then people came out. He gave it to them and I prayed for them. <laughs> and so I took it. That's why I didn't have a computer. So mm-hmm. you know, my dad had, no, my auntie, my auntie's husband came from, Canada or somewhere. Mm-hmm. I don't know the country, but he brought us a desktop computer. Mm-hmm. That was in 2013. 2013? Yes. So he brought us a desktop computer. So that's the desktop computer that was there. And you know, like it is in a room and they vlog them. They vlog it all. So yeah, that was all during vacation. Mm-hmm. I would put a CD in it, try to use it. And then my dad later got this laptop he wasn't sending it to work it was in the house so during the period of um, after wasi to mm-hmm. your university mm-hmm. uh, that was why i started thinking to steal the laptop from the room you, you have what i was stealing the laptop from the room. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah it was really tak- it was really tak- at that time i was i was 16 moving from Nungwa mm-hmm. to kaswa okay the pastor stayed at kaswa mm-hmm. so i moved from Nungwa oh. to kaswa to go and learn how to use Photoshop and then come, come back, back. and I'll come and receive beatings because hey, hey. <laughs> I was going home. So when they, I was I was waiting for I was waiting for the results, mm-hmm. what's the result? So when they go to work and I go to Kaswa. So when they come back, so one time they came back home before me because Kaswa traffic. <laughs> so that day when I came Kaswa back. Kaswa is a whole country. <laughs> when they <when> came back, <laughs> they last week. <laughs> So I think that was the last time I went to Kaswa. Then since then, I was learning about learning about. Then university came. Mm-hmm. What, what then, did you study in the university? Math, statistics. Math. Oh, okay. So university came. Then I started doing it for like money, twenty CDs, ten CDs, fifteen CDs. Yeah, yeah. So that that was where the graphic design started. When did you start product design? Did you do graphic design the whole four years in uni? Yes, it okay. was during my national service that I even first heard about something called UI UX design. Mm. Yes. So I heard about it, but I didn't actually like, okay, what is this? I've, I've, in searching for stuff, I saw it, mm-hmm. but I wasn't really interested because I didn't know what, what was, yeah, yeah, I didn't know exactly what it was. All I knew was graphic design, illustration, maybe small video editing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that was the, the bubble that I was in. So it was after I'd finished school, uh, I was teaching at Developers in Vogue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was when somebody came with the Figma question. And then that was what led me, like I was saying, Rabbit Hole. That was what led me down Rabbit Hole. What's Figma? What's Figma used for? All of it. Then I started also doing some product design. Right. So you heard about Figma, then you started doing product design? Yeah, because I was, I was teaching digital media. Oh, and okay. I was using Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere Pro. That's what I was teaching. Right. 
So they came with a Figma question because they assumed I knew what Figma was. Oh, it was in the same family. Were you able to answer? No, I told them I'll go and search for it and come. <laughs> That's what led me. So yeah. I told them, okay, I'll go and search for it. Um, what exactly Figma is and how to do. So it was how to do something within Figma. So mm. I went, uh, searched for it, found the answer, came back. What year was this? They, they help you, pal. They really helped me. Yeah, because I mean, that they just really, kickstarted well, yeah. your career. If she hadn't come to me with that question, I don't think. Yeah, that's true. They really help you. Yeah. Me, how, how I discovered you, I also started with graphic design. Well, no, develop. He <laughs> got. I started with development. He lashed me. <laughs> I did computer science. A large man said, no, this thing is not for me. And I, I was going the easy route. Let me see. I thought graphic uh, design was easy. Let's put it colors. I started like, this thing is not easy like that. You do design and then try to say. My wife is. said it's not nice. So let's my, change it. Exactly. My wife I said. I did one for a pastor. He told me his spirit doesn't like the design. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm saying. He told, me, he told me his spirit doesn't like the design. So I, I give his money back. and I, I, I You were not ready for the yeah. church. So that was the time I, I, I told myself, I'll not do any design for a church again. Oh. Yeah, serious. Since then. That was like 2014, 15. Nah. Too much water. Too much shit. So I did <laughs> development. It lashed me. I came to graphic design. Then, I don't know if you know this guy. Bring your own laptop. He's an yes. XD. I watched him. Evangelist. Yeah. yeah. So I saw a free course by him. I don't know if it was free by him, but... I saw a free course by him. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yeah. <laughs> If you, if you know, you know. <laughs> then I, that's how me I started mine. So me, that, I don't know. Every time, be I thank that guy. I don't know him, but I'm like, if I didn't see that video, I don't think yeah. I would even know what. There's only that's one. Yeah, that's one moment. Out. Yeah. And if you miss it, you probably will be doing another thing. That's true. That's true. Okay, so you hear, you, you hear, you 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 get a question about Figma. Yeah. You go check it out. Mm. You get your answer. Yeah. Then now you decide to learn Figma. Where did where did the learning start from? I, can't I mean, really you're self taught, right? Yeah, can't really pinpoint. But I did a few courses also, like Udacity, um, Coursera. Mm -hmm. I did those courses as well. So I think it was a prototype thing. Okay. It was a prototyping question. I don't really remember how to do it, but it was a prototyping question that I had to kind of figure out how do you do this prototype. Mm -hmm. So that was what. So if you remember 2021, 22, that I was posting some prototyping. Yeah, I remember, videos. Pa. Yes. Because like, I, I had found a new tool. Yeah. I found a new tool then. Oh, wait. So that means you were still in your early stages at that year? Yeah. That year. Wow. <laughs> Charlie. So, this, yeah. So, uh, what? I started searching for people who did this thing, mm -hmm. like product design. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know it was called product design. I just knew it was UI, UI UX. UX. Yeah. Now, now I even hate that free. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just knew UI. So I was searching. So, Eldad. Mm -hmm. And so, even that's how I met Hakim. Oh, okay. Hakim was already into it, mm -hmm. so I was on LinkedIn and I DM'd Hakim mm -hmm. like, I'm you doing this, can he review? So I did some work and I sent it to him to review for me. Wow. Yeah, then I met a couple of other people there. I didn't really know anybody, so I just DMing just anybody. Just in, how do you go about that? Because I was talking with Henson a week ago and he was saying that for his transition story, right, he reached out to somebody. And he's typed a long message. You know, sometimes people text you and they go, they go with hi. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't do that. Me, I would give you why I'm here. Mm. So like, hi, my name is, I think, hi, my name is Derek. Mm -hmm. I, I'm studying this and this and mm -hmm. you are, um, you are UX. Um, I did, I've done something I review for me or at that point, I wasn't really thinking about job. Mm. So all the text, all the message I was sending was just for people to to help you. Yeah. yeah, okay. Just to learn, because I don't think I even consider it as a career, because I was still at that time applying for other roles mm -hmm. like Ministry of Justice. Come again. Ministry of Justice. At, you were applying for jobs there. Yeah, like oh, government, okay. civil service. I was applying for stuff. Mm. <laughs> I met um, Rejoice. She she used to be called Office Banter on Twitter, but she, she has closed her account. Then oh, she's an HR person. Mm -hmm. One day she asked me to check my email to give her how many jobs I'd applied to within the six months or so. So I went and counted. G guess how many? 150. <laughs> I'd say 120 jobs. Oh. <laughs> within six months. Within six months. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you on unemployed or you yeah, looking... I was I had finished oh, I finished yeah, finish NSS. I finished UCC, I finished NSS, done um 
um, two years at Carleg University. Mm. Now I was waiting. So one twenty. One twenty. So she asked me to go and count and So it's like, what's around the You wake up in the morning, but <laughs> bro, I, I fly. <laughs> so when I was learning the design, oh, I was I didn't really have it like in my mind as a career until um, I started sharing my work in, mm-hmm. in like to or on Instagram. I think mm. I started from Instagram, and then people started sending um, reviews. And all that. Yeah. So I think my second interview was mm-hmm. even when I met Franklin. We interviewed for the same. Oh, Joe. yeah. Okay. Who's, who's Franklin now? You don't have to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you start, you start, you start product design. Yeah. How was the learning like for you? Self thought, myself, I'm self thought. Other most, most, most of us is relative. Well, I mean, I mean, what I mean by self thought is at the beginning you started teaching okay. yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Looking for resources, maybe. Yes. How how we're going about it? Because maybe somebody is looking at start. A lot of people sometimes yeah. you don't know what point to start from, but. You were like, you got a question, you went to look for what it's actually. Then you started learning it. How did you go so, about it? There's this lady on LinkedIn called. Is it Martha? Nave, is it Martha or Vivian? I think it's Vivian. Mm-hmm. Navelle. I don't know how to pronounce it, but she worked with Affinity Labs. I'm not sure if she's still there. Yeah, okay. You know her. Yeah, I've yeah. seen So name. she was also into, she was one of the people I DM. Mm-hmm. I even mean, DM'd her when I was going for my Hapton interview asking her about. What salary to mention at all things? <laughs> <laughs> so, she had a YouTube playlist. Okay. She had a YouTube playlist. So I, she didn't share it with me, but it was on her LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. I was actually like stalking her LinkedIn because she was one of the few people I saw who were doing something I was learning. So I was stalking her LinkedIn. And I saw that she shared some YouTube playlists mm-hmm. on her timeline, and then she also shared a certificate from. Udacity nano degree. Okay. Right. So I saw the certificate and I was like, okay, cool. What's Udacity nano degree? Great so I went it. to search for it. <laughs> I saw that they did the UX, yeah, user experience degree. Then I applied for it. I applied for the um, the scholarship, the financial aid, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I got it. It was with a certain agency, an institution, the government institution in Egypt or something. Okay. They were offering the free um, scholarship. scholarship. Yeah. So I saw that she posted a certificate for that. I googled it. I saw it. And I applied for it. And I got it. Oh wow! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I used her YouTube playlist and got um, fundamentals. Mm-hmm. Learned a lot. There's one account. There's one YouTube account called Designer Lily. Yeah. I watch her. Um, Contra people have some. Contra. Um, okay. YouTube. Um, there are a lot. So that was why I started like, the YouTube learning. Then I did an Udacity. After I did an Udacity, I did a Coursera too. Then, yeah. So that's how I got my first. How many years now? So doing product design, probably three, four years. When did I even start? Because I mean, 2021, you are still experimenting. Yeah. And 2020. So we four. Yeah, three, four years. And you're doing amazing. I don't uh, think I'm really amazing. Yeah, for me, I think you are. I know, I know you have, you know, certain places you went to. Yeah, the last time you were telling me. Today, today I was telling you when we did my, that we have things to learn. Oh. Yeah, like Th- there's always something. Like... Oh, wait, there's there's always something new to learn. That that one, yeah, they agree. There's always something new to learn. But you are doing amazing. In the last four years, how many places have you worked? In industry? You can't mention names. So. Well, f- full time or yeah, yeah full time. Places I've maybe designed de- for. yeah designed for as a product designer. So, how many? Mm. Or oh, the place you can mention it. You can let's say how many. So, Haptel obviously, mm-hmm. Yellow Card, mm-hmm. um, Ada. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done something for Patron Satellites. Mm. Um, the Galam says to <laughs> please. Now I will not finish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so product design. I'm a beginner. I come to Derek. Please, I want to learn product design. What will you tell me? What is product design? How? What? Charlie, me shape me. Right now, I'm a big, I'm a beginner. I understand. <laughs> I want to learn from you. Yeah. But maybe you don't have the time to, you know, then tell me. So. Well, you have to actually want to do it because mm-hmm. it's not as easy as people think it is. Okay. People see it as the the easy option mm-hmm. in tech. Mm-hmm. People see that and then product management mm-hmm. as the easy option in tech. Because it looks like you don't need any technical, in no. quotes, it looks like you don't need any tech or so like that. Oh, say, make my dear. Meet my designing. Meet my, meet my drop boxes. Like, 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 PMDO, meet my, meet my, meet my, meet my. <laughs> like people assume you don't really need, but 
it's a lot of work. Mm. Like it's a lot of stress because you get to deal with a lot of people who think they can do your job better than you. Okay. Right. Because nobody's going to think they can do back end engineering better than the back end engineer. True. But people feel because they can see something nice. Something nice and they say it's nice. They yeah. think they can do your job for you. Right. True. So it's difficult in that way because you have to it's like you're always trying to um get your foot in the door well so you're already in the room <laughs> like you get it yeah i get uh-huh. you so and it's one of the roles that you're always trying to be head like mm. there's how many times have you seen engineers with tutorials that oh how can you get your voice head in the room no right yeah but then we always see that for, for design product exactly design, yeah. so it makes the it's a place that you have to want to be there. Okay. Because it's a place that you always have to prove that, yeah, I'm important. Right? Because it's so easy to forget that somebody ideated this from scratch. Mm-hmm. Because every other person is working off what you have done. Right? The PM will think of, okay, the PM will come out of their documents. They also mm-hmm. think of theirs from scratch. You also now take their documents. Mm-hmm. Think of your visuals from scratch mm-hmm. based on what they've done. Now everybody else works off what you have done. Right, so now you have to understand that crafting something. <laughs> Charlie, design is not easy. Oh. Hey, <laughs> you are creating something from nothing. Yes, you are creating something from nothing. Right, and you have to always make sure you you are you want to learn. You always want to. Learn. You have to be curious because mm-hmm. design trends they are easy to jump in, but then when the trends go. The craft that you have learned will expose you, right? When the fundamentals <laughs> are weak, <laughs> you expose you. Right. You have to you have to always be learning. Yeah. You have to always, and people jump straight into oh redesigning Fidelity Bank mm. No. Like do the basics. Yeah. Color, um, layout, mm. um, typography, mm. all these things when you don't pay attention to them and you start building big dashboards they'll expose you they'll expose you you know that you don't understand it yes <laughs> right somebody can give you a whole user flow they give you a whole design system or a style guide and tell you to design and you'll still be found wanting because it's Did not them about them? the things that you have to put together it's how you put them together that will, that, will, okay. that sets you apart because you can give the same when you see the real loom design challenge yeah, yeah. they give the same design system to the designers but everybody comes, everybody up with comes out with something, something different. different. Yeah. Right. So you can get the tools that a senior designer, somebody who actually understands the craft, you have the same tools as them. You have Figma Pro plus plus yeah. plus account. <laughs> you have Adobe stock account. You have everything. You have yeah. one gigabyte Vodafone internet. But everything. then, if you don't understand the basics, using those tools in your craft, you'll be found. You'll be found wanting. So, like, pay attention to the to the basics. It's not. It's not like one week you just will be no. oh, what is pattern pattern is this okay what's the layout layout is this mm, okay now monday let me do ui mm-hmm. let me do, nah like even right now i'm still learning sometimes I just go on medium read some random article like the learning never stops right and don't be afraid to ask people mm. right if you want to figure <laughs> it out yourself work out. Work out. You, you <laughs> so. Okay, so I mean, you're speaking about fundamentals and always learning. When it comes to the fundamentals, the mm. basics, I know it's so important. If you understand how something works from the basics, you can do anything. Once you understand yes. it, you can decide to break the rules and then make it work. Product designer, you have a product designer. What are the fundamental things you need to look at? Hmm. What are certain things I need to get better at? As a product designer. Yeah. Last time when we were talking with um, Hensin, he mentioned things like communication. Yeah. Um, understanding the basics of whatever you're yeah. doing. From your perspective, what are certain things that you, certain skills you need to have, certain fundamental knowledge you need to? Breaking down large concepts. Because mm-hmm. you me, do that on a daily basis. Can you give basis. an example? So you are giving the task, you enter, this is typical of a lot of stakeholders. You mm-hmm. tell, okay, we need to add, um, we, okay, we need to add a, a feature for our customers to buy airtime. Mm-hmm. And they tell you just that. Mm-hmm. Right. So now <laughs> you just come and say, okay, what exactly do we need to mm-hmm. do to be? you need to now break down that into our like uh, into smaller bits mm-hmm. and then you do it. But sometimes you also have to take on the role as a PM too. Even though you have a PM, yeah. just just assume that role and also try to do some brainstorming around what you're trying to do. Okay. Right. So concepts such as you the engineers come to tell you, oh, this one, the API does not return this information. 
now you as a designer mm-hmm. how would you twist the how do you tweak the flow mm-hmm. to make sure that you are still serving the similar experience to the mm-hmm. user even though you don't have this right so so uh, you have to think quickly on your feet also and there's something yeah how how would the mind of derek be like if you are breaking larger things into like smaller chunks <laughs> <laughs> i've not really thought about it but you do it i do it on a daily basis <laughs> How do I? Okay, I look for patterns. Okay, I look for patterns. So how? Yeah, I've probably thought about this thing. I, I, mean, I want to. I want to learn because we spoke. We spoke with one guy, and then he was talking about how when he gets a brief from a client, a creative direction, he's able to know where the project or the design or the creative will go to in ten yeah. seconds. And he told in us how he goes to and not, this is similar. No, I said uh, in his mind. Yeah, in his mind, in 10 seconds, right? So maybe you also have something. You said you do, but you just not thought about yeah, it. Yeah, I've not thought about it. Nobody has asked me that <laughs> before. <Yeah. laughs> Nobody has asked me that before. All right, so I think a lot of it comes down to experience. So I've done so many like, products mm-hmm. end-to-end that I can't spot if this is going to be similar to others. Mm-hmm. So if someone comes, and nowadays I've been doing a lot of enterprise stuff. Okay. So now someone comes to me that, okay, I want a dashboard to handle uh, customer support requests. Mm-hmm. I've done a couple of that already. So I can you quickly already know, yeah. link this to something I've already done. Right. So I think that, I think that is more So, come, so you say it comes from experience, eh? Yeah. Because in breaking it down, because I've solved that problem before, I know what goes into solving it and I can tweak whatever solution I give to the previous problem to solve okay. this particular problem. So, see, when I was work at Haptel, I used to do um, back office stuff, okay. some back office stuff. I think, yeah, I did a little back. So, in my new role, when I was asked to do, no, not even back office, the whole MA portal, mm-hmm. I did Haptel MA portal, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So, when I got to my new role, the, one of my first projects was to do um, an admin dashboard for mm-hmm. the entire team for the entire company, all the teams. And because I have experience in Tom doing then, yeah. an AMA portal AMA. for business, I just brought that expertise or that knowledge, the skills are all, the things I need to solve that problem, tweaked it, okay, now how do you solve this larger skill problem in this? And yeah, so experiences count, but then you need to learn from all those experiences. Don't, I don't just do the design and then not learn anything from it. Mm. It's possible to do that because I just doing it for the money. Mm. But then, if you pay attention to it, you dedicate time to doing more research about what you are going to build, mm-hmm. where, how you're going to solve this problem, mm-hmm. you write stuff down, document it. Don't just any small thing that you run to dribble and go <laughs> in, in, in uh, inspiration, mm-hmm. and then they go and copy inspiration and come and put it. You don't learn anything. I, I understand you. Yeah, yeah. Was, it's called inspiration porn. They get they get addicted to inspiration porn. Inspiration what? Porn. Yeah, I've not heard it before, yeah. sir. So if you <laughs> the should I I can explain it? Please go so ahead. if you watch so much porn, if mm-hmm. it's time to have the real intercourse, mm-hmm. you'll be found wanting. So if you do inspiration porn so much, and then it's time to they catch you sit down, sit you down, design something, you'll be found wanting because now you don't have access to that inspiration again to, hey. to <laughs> ginger you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Derek, this is very interesting. Oh, yeah. As, also, as a designer, you need to learn to squeeze design out of you. Yes, please if explain. everything you jump into looking for inspiration, at some point, there will be nothing to inspire you because there are some solutions that are so niche or there are some problems that yeah. are so niche that you won't you find, find anything online. online. True. Because a lot of internal tools, they are not going to They're post, going them to post online. online yeah. So if you have to design an internal tool, how, what are you going to okay. find to inspire you? Okay, now my question, how do you squeeze that That equation? comes from the foundations. Mm. That comes from the foundations. If you know how to, so you how problem solving, mm-hmm. um, color, typography, and all that, that comes from the foundations. So you have to solve a very niche problem. You need to break it down. Because um, no problem is the first no, to no, ever no. exist. Yeah. So say you have to design um, a social media application for your company mm-hmm. right you break it down what is it going to involve it's going to involve messaging it's going to involve a timeline mm-hmm. it's going to involve maybe video calls or okay. a, a meeting mm-hmm. like a, a conferencing call good now messaging if you take messaging there are product that do messaging if you take 
timeline. They are product that have timelines. If you take a conference, they are product that have conferencing. Right, now I've broken that problem into three different problems. Right, in three, three different sub problems. Yeah, so now, them. exactly. Now, when you solve those individual small, 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 small problems, then you put them together. You found the solution. You found to the solution. Larger problem. Yeah. But then if you try to fix the larger problem at once, at once. you'll be found wanting because it's so big. But then if you break it down to smaller chunks and tackle those smaller chunks bit by bit, bit by bit, you would f- find a lot of things that are more. You relate more to those smaller chunks, and then when you finish, you now piece all of them together. Right. That's why I think I design very fast. Yeah, you do. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's not because I have any superpower or anything. It's because I just break down the problem and then tackle small, 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 small. Mm-hmm. Because it's fast, you be it's faster to tackle the smaller issue. I mean think about them, not necessarily design Designed smaller yeah. things, but then think about how to solve the bits and then put them together. Okay, I mean, we're about to wrap up one thing, money. Mm-hmm. I want to start product design. <laughs> <laughs> this topic is very interesting. For me, I want to start product design. But then again, I need to make money from it. Yeah. How do I balance it? You know, maybe the person is not for marriage. Because sometimes the money will be... Yeah. Know, and then you know, you'll, be, you'll just learn quick so that you can design things and then make money from it. How, how do I get that balance? Or you say they should forget about the money? It's hard, though. It's hard. I understand. Like there's some there's a point that okay, you need to make money, mm-hmm. but it's not your need that determines mm-hmm. what you should do, or that will determine. It's the the market or okay. the environment. Okay. If at the point you are learning product design, mm-hmm. if all that is available is internships, and they are non-paid internships, you can't really do anything about that. So should I go for it? Yes. Why? I would rather you get learning experience than mm-hmm. sitting home. Okay. Right. I re- I'd rather you get something and you don't go there with the mindset I'm going to do intention forever. Right. You go there with the mindset that you're going to learn something. Mm-hmm. And if you want to quit within two weeks, you can't. Nobody's going to hold you. Right. So it is better to have that experience. And then whilst you are going through that experience, you'll be looking for opportunities to actually make you money. Right. Good. So, yeah. Now to my question. How do I position myself to that point to get that that's that money? <laughs> Companies are attracted more to people who are in current roles than people who are at home. Like, oh. A company more attracted to you if you already have a job. Oh. This is, is this like when you're in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> because the mindset is if somebody trusts you enough to put you on their payroll, mm-hmm. then you are good enough to be on our payroll. Right. Even before the interview or anything mm-hmm. because if let's say you are unemployed for like two years mm-hmm. and you apply for a job and they come to you your first thought is why are you unemployed for two years it's it's they will not the mindset is okay the mindset is not going to be like you are the mindset is not going to be like you're unfortunate it's going to be like you're applying 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 nobody's picking you so why <laughs> like true. it's it's harsh but that is how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be looked at. So, if we pick two people, one who has been in a role for five years and another that has been in a house for five years, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter if the one that has been in a house is a better designer. The one that's in a role. Yes, because it's assumed if you have been able to keep the role for five years, right? It's 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 unfortunate, <laughs> but sorry. So I would rather you go into the role mm-hmm. for free. Mm-hmm. Do the internship, get the experience, right? Because right now there are a lot of companies that will not hire you until you spend X amount of years in your current, current role. role, and it's prevalent. It's going around nowadays, right? So if it's free, yeah, close your eyes and do it, right? All right, uh, that's that's very interesting, very very interesting. Okay, I think right now I know I'm a beginner. I know the things to do. I want a career advice. Four <laughs> years, four years in the product design field. What would you tell me? Things change very fast, so things change very fast. Um, so try to learn also very fast. Um, you should be willing to change your stance on things mm. because design you're always researching and learning about new things, and then there'll be a point where you see that you are wrong. Okay. I've held some opinions in design mm. that later I realized that hey, everything was <laughs> right. So. 
and you should you should always be willing to change your stance, especially when you're taking feedback on design. Right? There are sometimes you spend hours on something and the amount of time you spent on it will lead you to be biased about how um, good it good is. is it true? You feel that well, I spent two weeks on this, so it is good. But maybe you spent two weeks doing nonsense. <laughs> Right, and you yeah. should be open enough to receive whatever feedback you are given. Some of the feedback is bad, like that one here, to be honest. Yeah. But then you shouldn't feel that it has to be good because you suffered to do it. You have so always be open to feedback, especially when you are in the beginning, mm-hmm. because it's feedback that will let you be better. Right, I would rather trust the feedback from somebody who is paying me than from somebody who is not paying me. But the person who is paying me cares about the happiness. <laughs> that's true. My friend care, my friend wants to see me happy. Happy. Your emotions. Yeah, yeah that's why you have a lot of underground artists with yeah. terrible songs. <laughs> because their friends were like, oh, this is fire. But, but it's not. It's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I trust your friends to give you some feedback. But then, always be open to client feedback. Right? So, when I realized this, Mm-hmm. I stopped, feedback wasn't getting to me again. Like, I wasn't getting mad at feedback again. Mm-hmm. Because I took it as, okay, feedback is about the work. Mm-hmm. The work is not good enough mm-hmm. and I will improve it and I'm going to learn from it. That's cool. Right. Yeah. I, so since, like, it's been a long time I got angry because somebody gave me bad feedback. I mean, there's some people that give terrible feedback. Hey, somebody have zero filters. They don't know. Yeah. They just say it like just, that. Yeah. But right now it doesn't get to me again because, okay, you said it. How do you improve it? What do you think? Then it becomes a dialogue, right? But then if you, they give you feedback, then now you squeeze your face yeah, because you are the best designer in the yeah, world. Yeah, try, try, try. We get attached to our work sometimes. It's, you are going to be attached to your work in the beginning. Yeah. Because imagine sitting behind your computer, getting back pain, hey. doing something. Somebody comes to tell you that, oh, my wife doesn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fight. <laughs> I'm fine, right? But it's in the, so in the beginning, it is bound to happen. Mm-hmm. It's bound to happen. People have cried over feedback. People have gone to report the bosses to oh, their wow. boss. See, feedback. I've had, <laughs> I've had one person who <laughs> called me on the phone. I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> crying because of feedback. <laughs> <laughs> See, feedback. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I yeah. did have a similar story when I started. Even mine was not a client. Mm-hmm. Mine was on Instagram or LinkedIn. Good, it was Instagram. So you know, back then we used to post maybe carousels or your know, UI and all that. And I think I post I posted this carousel after UI, and I was giving like tips on how to make your designs. And then that <laughs> that post went very viral, yeah. like very very viral. Right, I think it's even down. And then the guy posted it on LinkedIn and Instagram. I don't know who sent me to go and read the comments. Oh boy. Hey, see, I was tearing. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, the people came for me. And oh. this, these were not people that were around me or anything. So, like, I started thinking, I was like, oh boy, who, who said, like, see, it took me, it took me like two months to even create another carousel. So, like, it got to me that much. You understand? <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's a necessary, I feel it's a necessary, you yeah. know, like, I feel people need to get feedback that will hit them. Yeah. Because there are some people who have gone so far in their career and they've all gotten bad feedback before and it shows. And it shows, yeah. But if they make a mistake and then someone points it out, they get very defensive. But then when you get this very early in your career, not so bad that it spoils you. you yeah. But something like you feel the pain, but then it doesn't... Like, I'll be better. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody needs that moment. True. Uh, because you don't want to be a pampered designer. No, 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 no. That was to kill you in your career. Because there'll be a point where you you rise, 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 get to the top, and then now, all the years of oh I'm the best designer comes, and then they demand that level of quality, and you can't deliver. And then when the feedback comes at that time, it's more painful when you drop from higher, right? Yeah, but yeah, when you're on the ground, and then you, you fall, you can fine. Just but then when you climb, 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 you will cry. Give you feedback, <laughs> and then you fall. It will be difficult to come up. Nah. With That's true. That's true. <laughs> Wow, amazing. I think for, for a beginner watching, I'm sure they've learned a thing or two. Now, hopefully. <laughs> they at least they learn inspiration porn. <laughs> yeah, inspiration porn. Avoid inspiration porn. Please avoid please avoid inspiration yeah, porn. Avoid it. It even relates to life itself, not just design. Every day you want to listen to somebody and then they'll put suspense background music mm. and then bang, bang, mm. then they'll be saying life is this and we drop it there's a lion in you yeah only you per lion <laughs> lion bear <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and there you go. <laughs> oh god. All right, final, final, final. Uh, are you open to collaborations? If somebody wants to reach out to you, learn, are you open to that? You're a busy man, so we should leave you alone. Oh, yeah, I'm always open. People, I do um, random, some, maybe on average, I do like two Google Meet calls with random people. Okay. Just, people just DM me on Twitter. Me, I set up a one hour Google Meet, we chat. If I'm busy, I'll let you know I'm busy. Or I'll give you a day that I think I'll not You're be busy. busy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all open. Collaborations, I don't know, it depends. If it's something that will take a lot of my time. You cannot. Nah. Right now. But it's something that we can meet one weekend at some Vidai cafe or something mm-hmm. to grind it out. Fine. Yeah, but if but if you have anything, I can recommend people to. So just reach out. Um, Please, where can they reach out to you? You look at shutters. <laughs> you look at them and then tell them, where, where can they reach <laughs> Where can they reach out to So, you? what? Twitter, everywhere, UX Derek. And LinkedIn is Derek Trome, D double R I C K. I was going to ask for your full name, but yeah. you said it. T S O R M E. R M E, like in the. R M E, religious and moral education. T S O R M E. All right, Derek, this was a very nice conversation. <laughs> Let's do this another time. All right, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs>